Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today is May 21st, 2015, and uh, I'm here at the Penny Pack Creek in Northeast Philadelphia. I may have mentioned this in a previous video, but uh, my mom came from Brazil just last week, and uh, she likes to eat fish. So, you know, I figure I come here, then I would try to catch some stock trout, some leftovers, if they are still here. Uh, if you guys watched my videos before, you guys should know I'm here at the Pennypack Creek, right at Roosevelt Boulevard. And this is the parking lot, the same parking lot that I was at on the opening day, okay, on April 4th. And as you can see today, there's not a single car over here, okay, not a single car. So yeah, it's been a while since last time, since the last time that the penny pack got stocked. I really don't know if there are any trout left, you know, and uh, it's raining a little bit right now. I got my ultralight set up right here. So, you know, I'll keep you guys updated and, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. All right, I'm walking to the creek now. So, you know, you guys will have to shake together with me. <laughs> And uh, it's raining a little bit right now, I may have mentioned that. If, uh, if it rains harder than this, I will have to change the casing of the GoPro to a waterproof case. And if I do that, the sound is going to be horrible. Worse than this, okay? So I will try to avoid that as much as, as, much as I can. But if I see, you know, that it may damage, the water may damage my GoPro, I will have to change to the waterproof casing, okay? So, all right, we are getting here at the Pennypack Creek at Roosevelt Boulevard. There shouldn't be a, lo a lot of people around here, as I've mentioned previously. And the creek should be very low right now, since we, you know, we didn't have rain for quite a while now, okay? Wow, it's been, yeah, it's been like, what, two weeks without rain? Today is like the first day and it's very light. So, you know, I expect the creek to be very, very low. So, all right, I'm gonna start over here. Okay, yeah, looking good. I'm gonna start over here, it is very low. Anyways, uh, all right, let me start setting up my stuff. Hopefully, we will be able to catch some fish, some dinner, all right. So, folks, I'm using the same, set, the same setup I always use. Let me show you guys real quick. Every time I come uh, to a creek, I use my ultralight setup. That's how I like to row. So there we go. I got my ultralight rod, my trusted ultralight rod, all right? Diewood Spimatic, cut life, very nice. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it together with a Shimano reel. Shimano reels are really like my trusted reels. So here we go. Shimano Sedona 500 FD. It's like one of the cheapest, cheapest uh, models for Shimano. And the drag, the drag is beautiful. So, you know, highly recommended. All right, I'm using four pounds Berkeley Vanish fluorocarbon line. It really suits my uh, suits my needs, you know. I like things that to sink better, depending on what I use. So since I will be using an inline spinner, I like to match it together with fluorocarbon. Okay, it does it does a really good action for the fishing. All right, so there we go. Four pounds fluorocarbon, Berkeley Vanish, and finally I'm gonna be using the same inline spinner that I always use. Let me see if I have one open here already. If I do, you know, I don't need to open another one. Yeah, okay, here we go. This is the spinner that I always use, right? You guys know that already. I'll grab my line here. So, all right, let's tie it on. There we go. This is a uh, Thomas Fishing Viewers. EP series inline spinner Nico Gold 1 8 of an ounce. They come in different sizes. I like the 1 8 of an ounce better. 
okay there we go it gives me enough casting distance and very good action if you are a multi-species angler I would highly recommend all right I'm gonna start walking upwards now I just saw a fish jump over there I hope that was a trout and you know I'll keep you guys updated all right let's let's see if there's any trout left over here I'm always casting 45 degrees downstream oh I had a, I had a bite oh fish on fish on on the first cast but it's not a trout so what is this oh it is a small mouth bass all right so my first cast of the day on the inline spinner and there's a miniature small mouth bass from the penny pack creek all right I'll take it you know a fish is a fish fish is a fish you know I'm always happy to see right a little see a little bass from the penny pack creek all right I'll let it go now no photo all right good let's see if we can catch some trout all right folks quick update the rain is getting heavier and heavier I will have to change my uh, my casing on the GoPro to the waterproof casing you know I, I can't just walk around with this casing now so yeah let me do that right now I'll come back after I change the case and you guys know it the sound is not going to be the same so I apologize in advance Sean, what is what? Oh no, it is a red breast sunfish. Red breast sunfish from the Penny Pack Creek. Oh, all right, that's it. Hold on, is it not working? Of course, you are the culprit. Oh man, another red breast sunfish inhaled my spinner too. All three dots inside. This is gonna be a painful to get out. I may have to take the sunny as bait now. This is fine, yeah. Vamos ver se tem alguma fruta. Let's see if there is any trout around that tree area. The 
just punch the power base there. On. Trout on the power beach. Traditional. Yes. When the spinner doesn't work, you gotta go back to the grounds. Oh wow, it's a brown trout too. There we go. Brownie. Brown trout on the power beach. First trout of the day.